Hey, Julian Kraus here, and when I was recording a line level signal with my Zoom H5, the recording was distorted even though the clipping indicator never lit up. So what went wrong? After that incident, I made a few tests and recorded some signals with all kinds of amplitudes to see if I could reproduce this problem. And yes, it was actually very easy to reproduce, and I found out that if you turn down the gain, at some point the H5 cannot handle the signal anymore and simply clips. The problem is that this is not evident on the level meter or the clipping indicator. Here you can see the problem. On the left I had the gain set to level 6 and recorded my test signal, in this case a 1k sine wave. On the right I turned the gain down to level 2 and as you can see the signal is clipping even though it is not hitting 0 dBFS. On the Zoom H5's display it looks like this. And like I said, neither on the level meter nor the clipping indicator you can see that this signal is clipping. After that I made a few more tests to find out the exact point where this clipping problem occurs. Turns out that when you turn the gain lower than 2.8 this clipping problem can show up. And that's the case with both the XLR inputs on the H5 and also the TRS inputs. When you use a gain below 2.8, the signal will always clip if it has an amplitude greater than 1 volts RMS. So it appears that if you go below 2.8 with your gain, the audio is only attenuated digitally, and if the signal is already clipped in the analog to digital converter, this simply turns down the clipped signal. Because of this reason, I advise you only use the gain range from 10 to 3, there everything behaves like it is supposed to be, and the signal only clips when you hit 0 dBFS. And you will be able to see that on your level meter and the clipping indicator. Now let's say you want to record a strong signal, for example a line level signal. If you turn down the gain on your H5 down to level 3, there is a pretty good chance that this is still hitting 0 dBFS. As I said before, turning down the gain even further will not prevent the clipping. Luckily there is a solution. In the menu of the H5 you can find a 20 dB pad, this attenuates the incoming signal so that you will be able to record it without clipping. And just to show you that this really works, I recorded the exact same test signal twice. On the left I had the gain set to level 3 and it was clipping. On the right I still have the gain set at level 3, but I activated the 20 dB pad. And as you can see, the signal is recorded just fine. So to recap, if you use the Zoom H5, I suggest to normally stay in a gain range of 10 to 3 to avoid any surprises. And if you want to record a stronger signal and level 3 isn't low enough, simply activate the 20 dB pad via the menu. Okay, that's all for now. I would appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to know more about audio recording, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one.